What the fuck? I can do this shit. Watch this. Yo, 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 you already know what the fuck is going on. G Hunter represent Talk of the Time, represent Mass Coalition. We here. Another episode. I know we kind of haven't been doing episodes like that in a sense, but we working, y'all. Leave us the fuck alone. You feel what I'm saying? And we got a special guest in the building. What up? This is Adam Lou here at, from the Adam Lou Show. What's up? How's it going? Don't mind him. He's probably a little high right now, thanks to my guy Lex over here <laughs> giving us fucking dabs <laughs> unexpectedly. Just handing out dabs. I'm with my guy. What's up, bro? Hey, shit, man. I'm chilling, bro. You feel me? I'm about to Good spark to this you. blunt. About time I got you on the podcast, man. A lot of things going on that we got to talk about, man. You you, you yeah, right now is the talk of the town right now. Like, you, everybody on your back right now. What's going on, man? Um, <clears throat> so you're talking about the uh, C-Dub situation? We're going to get right into it. Yep. I'm going to start off with that. What's going on? What? Tell me how it started. Tell me, tell me your input. Like, what the hell is going on? Well, I guess, um, you know, you guys know the BMAs, right? Mm -hmm. I said on an interview that I'd win one. Um, and then, like, Charlie, I guess, saw that and then took it. You know, like, we're coming for them type thing. <clears throat> they start to kind of disrespect us a little bit on the platform, on their platform. Mm -hmm. And um, I let it go. Fine, whatever. But then... It just kind of escalated a little bit. They posted a clip about us. So then I responded back, and that's what we have to do. So yeah. Podcast wars. Yeah. It's getting real. My favorite. Let's go. It's getting real. I don't know, man. It seems like... I mean, What's your opinion on it, bro? Y'all both got... I mean, y'all both y'all platforms is dope. Thank but you. But my opinion on it, that. I just feel like y'all got to come to an understanding. Y'all just got to see where each other... You know what I'm saying? Cause he feel like you're wrong. You made a point of him feeling like feeling like he's wrong. So whatever the case, I just feel like I need to. I I've tried, but you know they clearly, mm. you know they're very conflictual. I think they like conflict. So, but I've tried conflict no. cells. That's why conflicts. You know, but I have tried, and nothing's worked so far. But hope something can work in the future. Keep the peace, y'all. <clears throat> Be nice. Keep have understanding. Understanding yeah. the fucking word. I said understand me. Now you're fucking, your, your dad is fucking me up, Lex. So I'm over here high eating all of my business. You still eating that food? Hell yeah. I thought you said you gave up on it. Yeah. Nah, but I want to keep the peace. I want it. I'm done. I'm not going to say shit else. You sure? About what? Because I don't want to wake up tomorrow and go on, go on Instagram and see a real. Nah, I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nope, not going to say anything else. Not anything else. Cool, cool, cool. Nope. There's more views between y'all. Oh, between who? Between him and the oh. See, well, wait. <laughs> they're YouTube long. They do get more views, like the but like on the reels and the shorts, I get a lot more views. Okay. Because I know how to play that game. Oh, so would you feel like they're actually like a real competitor of yours? Well, I feel like they're a competitor. I mean, we're we're just going for the BMA, but yes, their podcast is very different. Shit, I'm going for the BMAs too. Which y'all gonna start beefing so me? We are kind of no, no that. Again, I don't want... No, nah, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about them. Because first and foremost, shout out Charlie. That's my guy, man. You already know. But I feel like friendly competition is the best competition. That's how you literally elevate. That's how you, you make yourself better. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, well, the other thing, you need to explain the, the Asian joke thing. Mm -hmm. The issue is that it was said off camera, mm -hmm. not on camera. So, and like Cole Kwan's there to just get like solid feedback and shit like that. And... You know, you you know, if you make a joke to belittle him, you know, might like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's kind of out of like. Yeah, wrong, like, like wrong situation. Nah, definitely, because if I right, first and foremost, I I am gonna be go on camera and be like, yeah, that that's that's a, that's not cool, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah. You can make your opinion, make a joke, whatever. But if y'all doing a show and you one of the judges giving feedback for these artists and you make a joke, granted, it's funny, but it's not. It's it's a it's time and place. You know what I'm saying? Like. They not there to be joking, like, I throw shows, nigga. I, I make jokes, nigga, but I'm not giving them criteria at the end of the... Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's just time and place. So, I feel your point on that. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Right. I definitely feel your point on that. So... Thank you. Now that we have to get that out the way, you know what I'm saying? That's real number one through five. You cutting them shits up, dropping them the reels. Y'all gonna have to see that. When did Adam Lou begin? When did I begin? Yep. Like, my podcast? 
when did you when, feel when was like I you, born? <laughs> when did you feel like you wanted to become the Adam Lou show? Um, I guess I just want to start a podcast one day. It's like the most. Can I tell you? It's kind of one of the most unremarkable stories I've ever That's told in my life. I just said I wanted to start a podcast. I started one, and I guess I found the whole scene, and people wanted to be interviewed. So I started to do it, and then I wanted to be funny. So then I started doing that, this style. That's all. Have you ever had any, like, walk-offs? <laughs> no. No well, walk-offs. No? No. I mean, you... people have gone, like, unhappy about the interviews, but no, like, walk-offs. All right, so what's your best interview that you've done and your worst interview, and why? The best one I've done... I feel like he's going to answer all these questions because he really don't be caring sometimes. <laughs> The best one I've done. They've actually they've all they've all been good recently. Um, but I can't I can't say a best one because I don't want to. You're trying to you know you're 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 really digging here. You know. Hey, what I'm, I'm just I'm just asking the question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been waiting to get you on the podcast though. So now we. How about favorite and not best? All right, how about favorite? My favorite. That's the that's my co word for best kind of. My favorite, nope. damn, damn, you're trying to create some content. You, my favorite is um, probably the talk of the town one. <laughs> yeah. That hasn't happened yet. You know what I'm saying? That, that, he tried to swindle his way out the question. That's y'all. my favorite one. He tried to swindle his way out the question. You ain't about that. You got to answer. What's your, what's your favorite one so far? Right, if you can't answer that, what's your worst one? I think I have an idea, though. My worst one? Yeah, your worst, your worst favorite, your least favorite. <clears throat> I think I have an idea. I love all of them equally. I don't know what else to say. I love everybody equally. You know, I'm just uh. So I'm, I'm not asking like the, the interviewer. I'm just saying, talking about like the, the situation itself. Like maybe one of them was more funnier than the rest. Maybe one of them was kind of like a little bit boring. The interview wasn't giving you a lot. But just like, you know, which one did you, it's more memorable. What was probably one of the more memorable ones that you have, have done? And you know, you know, it doesn't have to be like. Memorable? Yeah, memorable is a better word. Let's use memorable. You told me you use favorite. And then it didn't work. Memorable. All right, memorable. 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 You know, they all took a certain amount of time, so like, I'm, I, I remember all of them equally because I lived the same amount of time that they took. So, like, I love them. I remember them all equally. And they all had the same amount of standout moments? Yeah. It's impossible, but all right. I don't think you know? that's true. Yeah, not, only because, that's absolutely not true. Only because you can tell, once you can tell by the views, too, you can tell by. Oh, right. oh yeah. Yeah. I like, forget about the views, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, since you're not going to, you know, get to the, the, you know, the answer I want you to, you know. Why well, would you with Vaz, bro? Oh, yeah, that's, um, you know, Vaz just tried to, like, I, I guess he wanted me to take down his interview. And then he pressed me af- about it after, and then was, I, I mean, handled it, you know. I seen part of the interview. It was a dope interview. Why, do you, why, why don't he? I don't know, man. I don't know. You did. No idea. This nigga did something. You did something. You no, I did. That's your guy, right? Yeah, that's my guy. That's my. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. My day to take this shit down is over. I, you know what? I think no cap. I think I need to learn y'all because I took a few videos down being nice. Yeah, I did it too. And the day is over, bro. Yeah, see, I gotta learn how to just say fuck it. Yeah. To ask someone to literally just take it down, it's just a lack of, it's like a lack of respect for the time for them. Like, yeah. At least, at least come like, hey man, I can't have it for whatever this reason is, but like I'll, I'll pay you for the time we spent. Or no, that's a fact. Or I'll replace it with this or something. But that's the thing, like, people don't, down? people don't have that mindset, bro. Like as as content creators, bro, niggas don't understand the 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 the, the hard work that goes behind the type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I can only imagine how stressed. Nigga Uzi be when he be editing and you already know this nigga be doing every fucking thing. Nigga be editing while shooting a music video while writing or something. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I can niggas don't understand the hard work. So when niggas be like, yeah, you gotta take it down, I just be like, fuck it, because I don't wanna yeah. deal with the you know what I'm saying? But now I'm just like, nigga, fuck it. I'm gonna just start being like yo and be like, nah, fuck you. 
When they said take it down, what they really said is fuck you, fuck your time. You know what I'm saying? So, time is the most valuable thing. If you don't even respect my time, damn, that shit hurts. That's a fact. So is there a guest that you want to have on your show that you haven't had on your show yet? Uh, yeah. Yo, he's, he's going to keep doing it. <laughs> you should have given him that damn dad. I'm out of here before y'all stop playing with me. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> you can only blame yourselves for this one, guys. I'm not going to lie. No, he, he did it. Yeah, him. Lex. So you that high, bro? Yeah, yeah, look how he's sitting. From one to ten, how high are you? Like a uh, six. Okay, so you can take a handle another dab then. You know no, what? we're no. not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad. Oh man. Yeah, it gets crazy like that. You still got some space love, all right? So you're, in, you're into the um the music scene because you had a few, you had multiple um local artists on your on your podcast as well. Is there a favorite local artist that you would like to that? Like, you know, that you like um, listening to the most? Your favorite local artist that I like listening to the most? Um, Van Buren. I like them. They're not like one, but uh, I like a group. Collective, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, he high. He high as hell. Yeah, I mean, they're, um... They, I like their style. <clears throat> and everything. So... Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking hot. Yo, I know you high, bro. I understand. That's why I'm like, I'm asking. He's like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They're cool. Yeah. Before I leave, man, my last question. If you don't mind. Bro, not oh, my God. Thing. What is your end goal, bro? My end goal? Like, for all this, all this time and hard work you put in, what is it for? Like, what is your vision? What is your... I don't know. I want to build the platform up enough and then be able to just... Maybe back away from the spotlight and then maybe turn it into like a content creation type of company. Mm, I like that. Type of thing, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's dope. What's, um, what's, one, what's one thing that you would want to improve on for your content creation? One thing that I would want to improve on, I got to remember that it's like art in the end. And um, it's... You got to put time and work into it and just make sure that it's good and it doesn't have to be like brushed out or anything but just to focus on making it like good and entertaining for people to watch um yeah that's what i would say you see that you can definitely see that you gotta you, you trying to figure out ways to you know get more viewers or whatever the case may be actually how do you attract your viewers? Would you would you think it's the the reels? Would you think it's it's the reels definitely for sure? Yeah, like um, you can get like ten thousand, ten thousand on those YouTube shorts. Especially if you drop it at the right time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's high, y'all. His eyes is bloodshot red. <laughs> I mean, we ain't mean to do this to you, Adam, bro. Wing, wing wax. You haven't tapped the blunt yet, neither. That's the crazy part. You still tapping the blunt? No, no way. <laughs> Damn, why you tap my mans out like that? I hate it had to be you. <clears throat> what? You buy your shit, bro. Correct. Yeah, whenever you seen the whenever you seen this this motherfucker. Remember just, who did this to you, bro? Yeah, just remember who, who did it. He said cheers. <laughs> I like this guy. He said cheers. I think he's gonna make it far. Appreciate you, bro. I got you, bro. That's my guy. Give me on Instagram, I'll follow you back, man. I got you. I got that. I saw about yeah, networking. Nigga just had some nasty chicken to hang up out of here. It's all about networking. Yeah, I'm high as shit, too. I'm trying to let them like. It's over there, bro. Oh, something. You good? Ah. See you, bro. Uh, he gives like a dap handshake. Yeah, I, I work with whatever you brought in the door. He gives like a dap handshake. I'll be the third, bro. Alright, so I asked all my um guests, well, majority, I used to ask all my guests that come on the show this. We lost. I start to eat the hot chip whenever we get the hot chip. Some, for some odd reason, I feel like he has the hot chip. Yeah. No, we don't want no damn dab. You know what? Anyway, who would you rather, J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar? Um, don't disappoint me. Kendrick Lamar. 
I wish I wish Uzi was here to I wish Uzi was here to see, hit the fucking head at. Hell yeah. He picked Kendrick Lamar. I mean, granted, we already lost, but he picked Kendrick Lamar over J. Cole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's over for you, bro. Like, it, it is. I there's, know. There's 12 people in this world who like Kendrick Lamar over J. Cole. So what? The 10th. <laughs> so what? He's with us. Give me, give me your top five podcasts going. I'm going. I'm doing anything right now. Oh yeah. You don't gotta say us. Um. Granted, we are. I'm not gonna say. Now. Okay, fine. I won't say you. Fine. Top top five podcasts like in Boston or just. Yeah, you can say in the mass um, area. Yeah. How well, about just um Adam Lou show Adam Lou show Adam Lou show Adam Lou show Adam Lou show. This motherfucker just died on me. Straight Adam face too. Adam Lee show. That's the same top five if he could say you. <laughs> he probably went to Adam Lee show four times and then said talk to the town. Yeah. See? Great. Yeah, the, the collab show. <laughs> that would be crazy. Like just that just that episode. Do you ever do collab shows? <laughs> um no. Why? You think people's not as funny as you? No, I, I would do a collab show. I mean, no, I just, I would do it. I'm not, I, I've done like a, I've had other podcasts on you. But not us. We start a podcast beef, talk of the town versus Adam Lou, until he gets on the we on strike. <laughs> nah, fuck, try to do it. <laughs> um, nah, I'll, I mean, <clears throat> Yeah. Yo, he is gone <laughs> right now, yo. Oh I'm going to literally label this the dab experience part two with Adam Lou. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. So what's one thing that you want to do this year that you didn't get to do last year? One thing I want to do this year that I didn't get to do last year. Um, One thing I didn't get to do. Um, mm. <laughs> you stop, stop, My fault. stop. <laughs> Get it like a big celebrity on, I guess. That'd be cool. I put if I, but if I have to pay money, I don't want to do it, but. It's a, it's a, it's something to think about. What you know, you think you should um pay pay celebrity to come on the show? Yeah, it's something I would definitely think about. Which celebrity would it be though? Maybe like an Eric Andre or Z Way or some. I don't like. I I'd, I'd have to make sure everything works though. Um, with uh, contracts and all that stuff, but um, cause cause you know there's a lot of scamming out here. Definitely in entertainment, so true that you gotta be careful. So, yeah, I know the right motherfuckers, the right email. All I, that. It's, it's just something to think about, you know. But, um, because then if I get one of them on the show, other celebrities will see it. Mm -hmm. It's that type of content that will be good in any market. Word, word, and it'll travel. So, like, once a big celebrity's on it, sees it, that, oh, that other community is gonna see it. It's just all about getting connected to that community of celebrities and then bam. I think you're in. Word. Like, because right now, it's not like, for me, I'm not like taking off because this is only in our network of Boston, right? Mm -hmm. the, but the world's bigger than Boston, Facts. of course, right? Facts. And like, you need to get, and like, there's a big, there's like the bigger celebrity community that you need to get connected to that like millions of people care about. And then bam, like you're getting thousands of followers mm -hmm. and engagement. And But mm -hmm. when that happens, it's going to be kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. So I'm yeah. gradually easing myself into it. I was gonna, that was gonna, that actually goes right into my next question. Like, once that happens, how do you think, do you think you're gonna be able to handle the transition? The, like, the bro, paparazzi, know, the people in your face always hitting you up, people always tagging you, the haters times 10. Like, you feel me? Cause I be I, thinking about that shit too. Like, me too. I know when we make it, like, that's just gonna get, we got attitudes. Bro. <laughs> like, so it's like, nigga, we, we done Kanye one of these, some of these paparazzi, you feel what I'm saying? I know. Like, bro, the last 30 minutes, I, well, yeah. I'm gay. That's even worse. You know the game. Why? Why would you game? So we're gonna have to get him out. Of, we're gonna probably have to bail him out. 
five times a year so like, <laughs> of a paparazzi beat ups. <laughs> the last like thirty minutes, I've just been bugging out about that, mm. like the famous and all that shit. But um, I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. I've I've dealt some controversy so far, and those are kind of easing me into getting um, like kind of sending, getting, getting that ready. send that yeah. But um, I think it's just about getting a team around you that you trust. And then, you know what, you have to make decisions. They're not always going to be the right one, but you're going to have to stick with it in the end and just steer the ship, you know? True that, true that. Because I'm thinking, I'm just thinking about it. Like, I don't have a Twitter, but I know Twitter will probably be going crazy. I hate when people even post, like, subliminals about me. So it's like, with people, be, like, being a celebrity, niggas don't be giving a fuck. They just be, they put every, like, fans be going crazy and celebrities just be reading that shit. You know, I think a lot of people don't, are like, the fame is like, if you're scared of it, you're not going to be famous. I think the, the big thing about fame is not being scared of it. Mm. That's, I think, what makes most people famous. A little, there's a lot of people that are genuinely scared of it. That's why they can't go that extra mile. But, like, the thing is, it's just that you have to be willing to take that extra mile, I think, to get famous. I feel that. Stomach some things type thing. I feel that. If, do you know what I mean? No, I definitely understand. Yeah. Do you think the money will change you? No, I think I'll always be in the same within. I, I do, I do, I do. I have, a, I have good people around me, so it's like, I, I trust that I'll be good, you know? My point just it's, just, out. it's just about making sure, like, you surround people around you that, like, don't take from you. That, that only take from you, don't give back to you. Mm -hmm. Like, I give people little tests, and then, like, if I'm dealing with someone, I give them a little test to see if they'll actually take from me, and then if they just... If they don't pass that test, then I, I cut them off. Because in the end, it's just like, <laughs> like, what are you doing then? If they're already leeching off you on this small level, they're going to like take millions on like the big level. That's a fact. And then do nothing for you. That's and then fact. if you cut them off, badmouth you, mm -hmm. and even though you gave them millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Like there's some people that just want to like take some everything. People, some people that can't accept no. Yeah. And it's the same. Those are the worst people. No cut. Yeah. No funny shit. So what's coming for Adam Lou in 2023, man? Even though it's kind of I'm halfway doing, over. I'm doing a live interview um, June 16th. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, with... Um, I'm, I'm going to announce the guest soon, but yeah, that'll be fun. Um, it's at Exposed TV. It's $25 uh, at the door, $20. Shout out Exposed TV. You already know. We'll be there at the Grind Jam session. On the red carpet, doing interviews, so... Y'all pop out. We shout out Exposed TV. Mm, yeah, yeah. They're, they're awesome. They're awesome. I love it. Exactly. We actually just, um, we just, we just um, started talking about everything, like, what, last month? So it's like, they're, they're definitely, definitely cool people. Yeah. So I'm actually, I'm actually happy I got to, you know. No, they're awesome. They're awesome. Definitely. Yeah. So that's, what, that's the only thing you got coming for 2020? Just that? I know you got a lot of plans. You got a lot of months ahead of you. Plans. Let's see what else. But besides the talk of the town coming on the, you know, on on, on the park. I mean, you know, on the, on the show. You know saying, <clears throat> keep throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it don't happen, my fan base is gonna come at you. Yeah, y'all get them. Whoa, chill, chill, chill. chill, chill, chill. Come on, come on. Nah, you know I can only take one at a time. I can only <laughs> take one at a time. All right, come on. Okay, when's the next one's over? Okay, then we Whoa, can wait, talk. wait, wait. Pause, pause, pause. Oh, you're right. Yeah, right my, pause, bad, my, pause, bad, my bad. My yeah, bad. My bad. My bad. Pause. 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 Let's talk about that. Yeah. But bro, once what was the, you thinking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> what was you thinking about? Like, yeah, that, that sounded so wrong when, when, when he said it. What like, visual popped in your head? Right? What do you mean what visual popped? Well, I, don't, I don't care about what visual popped in my head. It's just... Go ahead, my bad. You know what, Uzi? No visual popped in my head if that's what y'all want. <laughs> no visual popped in my head. Just, it just sounded... Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what he said, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so any major plans for the summer besides the um, Exposed TV show? Um, another live show. That's another plan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he sounds like you a boring life. He's another live show, you know what I say? You know, just, just recording, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know. Let's see, let's see. Um, I'll get a big guest on. I hope that that's a plan. I haven't put that in motion yet, but like I've plant, I've like planted the seeds out. That's a okay. plan, but I can't guarantee it. You gotta make it I, happen. I'm not like you know what? I'm not ready for it yet, honestly, because um, I just I, I need to clean up a couple things content wise, you know, and and figure out a couple of things branding wise to be ready for that. 
amount of fame. Or amount of getting that big person on type thing. Man, you better like do a, that. If that. If that opportunity presents itself and you be like, mm, I don't know, you better suck it up. Know. But a celebrity might like roll over you. Like they could say to you, okay, I'll come on, but like. Not show. But like, yeah, not show, right? Or like, if you do do it, then after, like, they'll be like, oh no, you can't put that out type thing. Like, they, so that's why I think you have to be ready. Contracts. Yeah, you gotta be ready for that. So, if they're just going on to go on and then nothing happens, it's just like. Definitely contracts. You gotta get them contracts ready, my boy. Yeah. That's all that means. They can't say nothing with the contracts. Nobody wanna do nothing with no contracts. You know what I'm saying? Yep, you say you're not gonna tap the blunt one time? No, no way. Just one time? No way. Just once. No way. It's, the interview's about to be done. Just once. No, bro, no. Just no, one time. No, no. You gotta type it. Alright, type to close out the close out the interview. Just no one. way. Just no one. way, bro. I believe no in you. Way. Peer no pressure. Way. Peer pressure? What? Peer pressure? Peer pressure? No way. Peer pressure? No way. Peer pressure? No way. No, no, no. Stop, Peer pressure? stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop. Nope, nope. No way. <laughs> nope. No way. Not today, Satan. <laughs> so speaking of playing scenes and not being ready, is there Mrs. Luke? <laughs> nope. Nope. But I haven't dated much right now. Is there a Mrs. Up. Lou? A Lou? I need to get better. I need to, I need to get better with the dating. It's not a Lucy in your life. Yo, 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 Lucy Lou. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, yo. Nah, that's just hilarious. You stressing him out. He is high. He don't know what to do. He's just like, Dog. I just heard Lucy Lou. I was like, all right. Was, was that like your ex's name or something? No. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Sorry. Okay, just making sure. Just making Sorry, sure. Sorry, don't want to. You, all, right, all right, what's your best preference of women? Best preference? Yep. You gotta look in the camera and say it. Um, he can't even look straight. He said. Uh, best preference. Mm -mm -mm. Hot. What the fuck? Um, I'm talking about race. Hot. Good fuck. looking. Hot. He, he's hot. getting limited to hot. 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 Gotta be hot. Hmm. Gotta be hot. What's the, Gotta be top, hot. Top heavy or bottom heavy? Both heavy. Or both heavy. Top heavy. You, you want her to have the, the knockers or the badunga dog? Yeah, we, are you an ass man or, or, or a titty man? Um, um, ass. No, no, titty. Titty, titty. Oh. Ass and titties. Ass, ass and titties. titties. Titty, titty. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. Yeah. Mm. You know, I love my black queen. You know what I'm saying? That's my preference. I'm just saying. So if you out there and oh. you got some C cups, Adam Lou's looking for you. Exactly. Well, Why did you oh. just make a whole fucking. Yo, <laughs> he said, if you out there with some C cups, Adam Lou is looking for you. You know it. Let's get this. He ain't been dating much, guys. Let's get this guy a date. We're gonna do speed dating with you. What? We're gonna do speed dating with you. Sure. That's you gonna gotta, be an episode. You gotta make up interesting shit about yourself to say. Um, there's nothing though. Yeah, that's why we said make it up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he said, "Yeah, that's what we said. Make it up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, man. It's been a it's been a dope episode. We got him high. He How bad there. did I do? How rate me on a scale of one to ten? How bad did I do? Mm. A three. You did. Uh, <laughs> you did uh, a four point five. Okay, okay. You know what I like saying? the honestly. There needs to be more honesty. I appreciate that you no, gave me just a four point five. Nah. He, he's just an asshole. It's, it was he, funny, but he held he, back too much. Yeah, he did. He held, but he held back a lot. It's cool." We'll get him again. We just we should never let him take that dub. Nah, that ain't the fault. He said he was only a, a six on a scale of one to ten. He wasn't that high. You did say he was only a six on a scale of one to ten. So he wasn't that high. Come on, man. That, yeah, you. You said that. I said that this was a six. No, what? you said on the the high scale. You said you was only a six. Oh, okay, yeah. He was about to be like, I never said that was a six. I never said this. <laughs> That's blasphemy. <laughs> now nah, you already know. Appreciate you, Adam, for coming on. Before I let you go, let them know you your um your social medias and everything where to find you. Uh, at the Adam Lou Show. Um, on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah. No, 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 it's not the. I got rid of the the. At, it's just at Adam Lee Show now. Uh, hey. It's at Adam Lee Show. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Bam. Bam. All right. Well, you already know G Honcho represents all this and representing Mass Coalition. It's been another episode, and we are out. Bam. Bye.